Hello and welcome at Infineon's October Tech Silicon Valley event in Mountain View, California. I'm Majid Ahmed, Editor-in-Chief of ADN, an Aspen Court publication, and I'm here today with Peter Wauwer, Division President of Green Industrial Power at Infineon uh, Technologies. And we are going to talk about a very pressing issue growing energy requirements in AI data centers and the role of power semiconductors in facilitating this demand. Uh, Peter, can we begin with uh, the evolution of power supplies in AI data, data centers and their transition or migration to new power architectures? Yes. So we are Infineon have been in this industry since quite some time. So since more than 10 years, we try to do our best to increase efficiency and of course also availability of power supply for data centers. So what we have seen is that in the first years, it was about increasing efficiency because efficiency of data center power supply directly goes into the OPEX of the operator. So continuously increasing the efficiency was of key interest. Why we have been quite successful in doing so, we now see that with the latest trends of data centers going to AI, only increasing efficiency is not enough, but you really have to increase power. And so the next stage is, while of course we want to keep the efficiency, we tremendously have to increase our power because the newest generations of data centers plan to go from a couple of kilowatts, meaning hundreds of kilowatts, even towards gigawatts. That is to be foreseen to happen in the next five years. And what is Infineon doing in this space? Basically, we have full offering. So kind of one-stop shop, starting from the reference design for the PSU, which is being required for powering the, the, the processor, until, of course, um, also um, the, the chips required for vertical in the power flow, for example. So, for example, using making use of NVIDIA um, as a partner and adapting our um, power solutions accordingly. That means, of course, also increasing power output and efficiency of these multi-phase controllers. In addition to that, we provide a full portfolio related to energy supply. Because, as you correctly say, data centers need more and more energy. And hence, you have to think about how you generate this energy. And with respect to energy generation, might it be on renewables, might it relate to energy storage, we co provide the full offering of semiconductor components. And what is this? Was the demo behind us? Thanks for asking. That's a very interesting one. You know, there are always passive components inside the systems. So far, for the connectivity to the grid, we use transformers. And also for protecting circuitry, we used um, typical circuit breaker, traditional circuit breaker solutions. While now the requirements do increase, we see the trend and also the interest to go to solid state based solutions. And so we have here at our booth over there, some first samples of solid state transformers. So a single state a solid state transformer, a plus also solid state circuit breaker, where we do see the need to uh, also support our customers in the evolution of these kind of applications. Thanks, Peter. Back up.